Hello everyone, welcome back to our garden. Today is April 20th of 2024. I'm gonna give you a walk and talk tour. And right beside me is a bewitched hybrid tea rose. This is its first bloom. This is fragrant and the form of the flower is beautiful. It only have few flower buds. And this flower right here is open. Look how beautiful the pink flower is. This one is actually the first bloom to open. The leaves are actually big. I had to defoliate it simply because some leaves have rust, especially in the bottom part. So I had to take it out. This is kind of new rose for me. This is an own root rose which I purchased from Erloom Roses. This is not a sponsored product, by the way. Let me get the ruler just to see how big this rose is. So this is about 5.5 inches in diameter. In this side of the garden, I have some bearded iris, but only one variety bloom as of April 20 of 2024 this beauty right here is Ziggy this is its first flush of flowers Ziggy is a prolific bloomer the bearded iris on the back and right on this corner here also have flower buds i'm hoping to see it bloom in like 10 days or seven days i hope in that way you can start to hybridize some bearded iris so i only have few flowers in bloom in this corner right here most of this are david austin roses I'm waiting for its second flush of flowers. Right in this corner here, I do have life of the party. It has a lot of flower buds as well. There's one open flower here. This smells good as well. The fragrance is strong. So if you like fragrant cloud rose, highly recommend this rose as well as the fragrant is the same as fragrant cloud rose this one is mr lincoln it struggled a little bit simply because as you can see the cane right here had um, a bad case of powdery mildew in the beginning and it still have some residue even after I treated it. Right here is my vermilioneer in the pot. And right behind that is the pink salvia. I can't remember the variety. Right here is the Rose of Sharon. This is purple pillar. It doesn't bloom until summertime but it's giving me a lot of uh, leaves right now. This right here is South Seas Day Lily. This doesn't bloom until summertime as well. And right here is my Queen of Sweden, David Austin Rose. No blooms yet. This one is Lady of Shalott. This is also a David Austin Rose. This one have a lot of issues. I may take a video and document on what's going on with this rose and see how I can fix it. This right here is Gertrude Jekyll. No blooms yet. This one cane right here is long. Right behind Gertrude Jekyll is the Beards of Paradise. No flowers yet. This one right here is Royal Jubilee, also a David Austin Rose. I'm seeing some flower bud, few flower buds actually. This 
this is another area for my bearded iris garden and the one in bloom right now is Bruhaha. It has a good color combination and the fragrance is strong. So if you want to try to grow some bearded iris, I suggest that you try this Bruhaha bearded iris. In this area, I have a lot of twist of sherry bearded iris, but it's not in bloom yet. This one right here is growing slow. I don't know if it has to do with too much rain. I lost some of my bearded iris due to too much rain. That right there is pincushion. It should be in bloom by now. I don't know what happened to it. The leaves are kind of yellowish. And these are the ogre ears. That's a succulent that I can't remember the name of. This one right here is the Protea. It's not growing well simply because this one needs to be up-potted, meaning to say I have to put it in a bigger container and add more soil simply because Proteas don't like to be root-bound. And I think that's the issue in regards to this Protea. So I only have a few plants growing in my garden. Today is April 20th of 2024. I'm planning to have those trees or bushes close to the fence cut off eventually, simply because it attracts a lot of snails. And the only thing that makes me excited right now is Ziggy. And my dear bewitch Rose. I am Evelyn and thank you for watching this video.